Hello, welcome to Naresh Technologies. In this video session, we will discuss about ASP.NET MVC layouts. So, today we are going to discuss about how do we design layouts for MVC applications. Layouts are nothing but just like your ASP.NET uh, master pages. So, how do we design a master page for MVC application? and how do we configure the master pages for MVC application. So, we call the master pages in MVC as uh, layouts. How do we design layouts? Layouts usually have the extension .cshtml and uh, the key component in uh, layout is uh, render body. Render body is a function. Render body function defines where your page content must be rendered. And uh, if you want to define multiple sections in the layout page, then you can define by using render section, render section. So, layouts are just like your master pages in ASP web forms. So, in MVC layouts will have the extension .cshtml and uh, the key components of uh, layout is render body and render section. Render body defines where the content should be rendered and uh, if multiple areas to be defined in a layout to be implemented, then multiple areas are defined by using render section. So, to implement the sections that you defined in your pages you have to use the components at the net section. So, to check whether the section is implemented or not, we have to use the function uh, property is section defined. Define. These are some properties and uh, functions that we generally use while designing a layout page. So, let us see how we can create a layout for our MVC application and what are the important concepts about the layout. Let us see. I will switch to the visual studio and uh, let us add a layout page. And when you are adding any page that is need to be accessed across any controller, then uh, let us put in a special folder. In the views, we will add a folder shared. I will add a new folder and I will name it as shared. Already we know that shared is a resort folder in views. Whatever the resources you put in shared folder are accessible across any controller. Any controller views actions can access them and use them. So, globally if you want to access then you have to define in shared. So, in the shared folder I am adding a new view and it is an MVC view and I will name it as underscore site. You can define any name. So, traditionally partial and layouts will have a underscore prefix defined. I am giving the layout name as a site and it is a layout then uh, here we will uncheck the option use a layout page. That means, do you want to use any layout page for this page? It itself is a layout page. So, we are not going to use any layout page initially. So, we will just uncheck the option use layout. So, the view name is site. Okay. Underscore site dot cshtml that is the layout page that we are designing. So, I added a view into shared folder by name site.cshtml and uh, in this let us design the page means let us design the UI. So, I will uh, take 
the title as the index index page okay and uh, let's design a table so with some uh, border and the cell spacing so 5 and cell padding 5 and uh, in the table let's put some align to center fine and in this table I am designing a row so with the cell at the top I will put uh, here call span as 2 I am merging and I will put the heading nourish ID ok Hyderabad fine now below this I will add another row in the row we have two cells in the left cell and uh, the right cell so the table contains two rows initially the top row and the middle row and for the middle row I will put height is uh, some 300 pixels and uh, bottom I will add another row in that we will have a cell and uh, here we will put some copyright copyright 2018 yeah and uh, some details like uh, some faculty so like courses so projects okay some development something now we have a table with uh, three rows defined in the three rows we are configuring the table row 1 2 and 3 we are configuring a header and uh, we are defining a footer in this table row we will use the left cell with a menu let's add an odd an ordered list and put some list item we will define some hyperlinks html dot action link I will put the link text as home and it needs to go to an action called home fine ok another I will put another link I will say html dot action link as about about that is the link text and uh, I will uh, use about fine I will add another list item at the net html dot action link then contact and uh, contact ok three hyperlinks are defined home about and contact so let us uh, put the total table width here table width as uh, some uh, 800 pixels fine and here the left cell width I will define as uh, 250 pixel fine and uh, I will define the right cell here as width uh, 550 pixel that is fine so we have two columns in the middle row so left we have a menu for home about and contact and the contents of home about and contact must be displayed in the right panel inside this cell that means in this right cell I have to render the contents then just I have to define a function here render body so render body is a function that specifies where the page contents must be rendered ok after configuring the page let us put some styles here I will uh, set the style for the header row row the style will uh, use some background color so background color let us put the background color as gray dark slate gray yeah and uh, let us put some color as white fine 
and uh, the bottom row also I will put a style and uh, let us make the text alignment to center, text align to center. The same effect I will define for the footer row also. So, style, so background color, let us put uh, so dark uh, slate gray or some green and I say color to white and text align to center, fine. After designing the page, actually our intention of the UI is to display a header and a footer and uh, in the middle two columns, left we have a panel for navigation and right we are rendering the content. So, this render body defines where your page content must be rendered. Okay. Once the initial layout is ready, there are several more things to update into this layout. Once the initial layout is ready, let us apply this layout to our pages. How? So, let us go to the controllers and add a controller here. I will select the controller name as home controller. So, in this home controller, we will define some actions. The first action is home okay. and uh, another action, action result is uh, about. Okay. It should return a view and let us add another action contact action result contact. Okay. Let us uh, return a view, fine. Now, let us add the views so that they can use the layout that we designed. So, I am adding the view, right click and add view. So, the view is uh, an empty view, view name is and here it is prompting for use a layout page. So, select use layout page and uh, you choose which layout page to apply. Our layout page is in views shared that is site.cshtml, we are applying that. Then add, now a view is added for home. Once the view is added for home, you can put any content here. Let us uh, copy some content and put in the home page. So, just I will copy a paragraph and uh, I will put that paragraph information here, fine. Now, we will go to the controller about and uh, home controller about add a view and it is also an empty and use the same layout page add. And here I will define about and some paragraph information here again. Okay. Let us just uh, for a change I am reducing this about related content there, fine. Let us add one more here. Now, here another question is how we can apply a layout to a view that is not using a layout initially. Means, I will add a view for contact. While adding the view, I am not selecting a layout page. So, that means when I add this, it is not going to use the layout page. If you are trying to use the layout page, then what you have to do is simple. You have to use at the net. So, a attribute layout is equal to what is the layout page you want to apply till slash view slash shared slash underscore site dot cs html. So, this is the page that we want to use as layout and uh, put a header here and I say contact us. Okay. And here I want to display some address, some address information. So, HR at some nourish ID dot in something. So, if the layout is not initially defined, you can delta apply the layout just by configuring the attribute layout. Now, let us start and see how this works. We will start with the index page. So, we designed a layout and we are using the same layout for all the pages. 
home, about and contact, these are all the actions that are going to use the same layout. So, a uniform appearance across the pages. There are several more options to discuss about the layouts that we will see after achieving the primary goal, right. So, first we will apply a simple layout for all our pages and see what we can implement into this layout. You can see now this is the layout page defined. So, we will make the footer span everywhere then uh, just go to the site and uh, the footer this cell we will put call span to 2 and you can see the footer will merge to the 2 columns ok that is fine and now when user clicks on about it gets the about and contact. So, we just designed a simple layout for our MVC application. So, user clicks on home and about and contact it gets that information and display. So, this is a simple example of how we design a layout for MVC. Now, what else you can configure in a layout? What are the various options to know about layout that we will discuss in our next video? Thank you.